by phone line. Senator Jerry Buttermer joins me. Morning, Jerry. Good morning, Neil. Um, it's 15 days since um, Golfgate, as we call it, uh, and I know you did agree to talk to me, but can I ask you just off the, uh, off the bat, why did it take so long? Well, I suppose, first of all, can I just say thank you for having the programme, and can I begin by saying that I'm sorry to the people who are listening, to those who are working on our front line, to the people who've died, the families of people who've died, uh, and to the people who've contacted COVID-19 by my attendance uh, at the event in Clifton. Um, I left people down in, um, and I compromised the work of all those people who've done so much, and the collective sacrifice of the people by attending the event. Um, to answer your question, the reason I took my time to come on was one was to listen to programs like yours and to, to listen to the anger and the frustration and the upset of people. Secondly, there's an element of, of embarrassment and of, of, of being mortified of what happened, Neil, um, and cognizant of, of the responsibility placed on me uh, and conscious that I left people down. Um, it, it was important for me to listen to, to the public angle, to listen to programs like yourself to, And also then, you know, it's time to reflect and time to, 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 to absorb what happened. And that's why I, I, this morning came on your program. And I am profoundly sorry, Neil. And, and I know people will say that, you know, I'm coming on 15 days later, but I am really sorry. And, you know, my words are absolutely sincere. Okay. Um, can you can you just talk us through the day? Well, well, in my case, Neil, I was on holidays up the west of Ireland. Um, I wasn't a member of, of the society. I threw the golf clubs in the, in, in, in the car, went to the event, um, and and it was a huge error of judgment. Um, I shouldn't have gone. Um, it was a, I, I don't know whether it was a combination of a false sense of security, complacency, um, but it was an error of judgment and I made a huge mistake and, and I, I'm really sorry I didn't live up to the expectations um, and the demands that but placed on me as a, as, a, as a member of the office and, and, I, and that's why on the but Friday did you, morning... Did, but, I know, but did you um, just I, happen I, to ha- did you just happen to have the clubs or were you, did you have a, a tea time booked and everything way in advance as part of the society? No, outing? no, no, no. I made, made, made a decision to play. Um, arrived at the golf club at, at, at around two o'clock um, and played. Um, as I said, I was on holidays up the west. Um, it, it wasn't, there was no maliciousness, there was no intent to cause any hurt or harm. No, I know that, but did anybody, did anybody not say to you in advance, I'm not so sure this is a great idea? Well, in my case, Neil, um, I, I did ask um, on, on the Tuesday night uh, the organisers and the hotel owner regarding the event um, and, and I was assured that it was COVID compliant um, and, and in my case Neil I made a decision to go it, it's my responsibility I'm not justifying going there I was too ready to accept the assurances uh, that it would be COVID compliant um, 30 seconds was too long to be there I shouldn't have gone I'm, I'm genuinely sorry Neil uh, for being there oh, I know I mean you I mean, you have apologised I understand and, that and, and it's a contrite apology if I can just say Neil I mean I, I suppose it, you know it, it was an act of complacency a lack of concentration I, I didn't you know definitively go through the regulations if you like um, and and I, I, I regret that now and, and, and in any shape or form justifying being at the event uh, I accept my responsibility in going. Uh, had you not been aware that the guidelines had changed? I, I had, Neil, and, and, and that's where I have a huge amount of regret. I, I, but, you know, I, I suppose I spoke to the, the organisers and the hotel owner, um, and, and I, I, if I'm honest, I was probably too um, ready to accept the assurances that it was within the guidelines. Um, I accepted too readily the assurances I, I should have made further inquiries myself. Um, I didn't. It, it's my responsibility. But did it become um, a topic of conversation with any of the 81 people there in the sense like, Jesus, is, should we be here at all? I mean, there was too many people in the room, but also there was too many people around the tables in the too many people in the room. Did nobody turn to one yeah. another and say, this is this can't be right? I, I, I should have left Neil. Um, I did have that 
thought in my head and, and I did, should have acted on it and I, I very much regret that and, and to the, to, you know I, I, I'm genuinely sorry for that it, it was a profound error of judgement um, and, and as I said in my case it was a combination of complacency of, of, of a false sense of security and, and too ready to accept the assurances but it was my responsibility Neil I shouldn't have been there and, and that's the bottom line OK and Kenny left he played the golf and he left. Um, I think Dick Spring played the golf and he left, didn't he? So some people did have worries about it. And I believe, is it true that Andy Kenny actually told other golfers not to go? He didn't say it to you, no? No. Nobody, nobody in, a, in any conversation across the day or in the lobby area or inside said, we should leave. No, I mean, look, I, I know now I should have left and and, and, and I should have... You no, just because people are just point. wondering, did you guys feel that the same rules didn't apply? You know, can you see now why people believe politicians are hypocrites? It's do as I say, not as I do. Neil, I can understand the annoyance and the anger and the frustration of people. I'm angry myself at myself. I don't have any aspirations to privilege or, or to be different to anybody else. I left people down, uh, you know, and, and I'm really sorry for that. And I should have acted on a better judgment myself. I'm sorry that I didn't. And I wish that I had. So you didn't, listen, you didn't listen to your gut then? You knew it was wrong, but didn't do anything about it, even though in the moment you knew it was wrong? Neil, uh, my responsibility, I... I as I said to you, I should have acted. I didn't, and I regret that very much. And what assurances and were re- what assurances were given? And um, like, were you aware of the guideline change? I, I, personally, I wasn't aware of the intricacies of them, but I, I was aware that they had changed. And look, I'm not justifying it, Neil. I'm not here to to, to in any way, you know. I feel like denigrate what happened. It was wrong. I, I, in my case, I, you know, I was too ready to accept the assurances that it, it was COVID compliant in terms of the room, in terms of the the, the setup, and and I, I quite clearly it wasn't. And I very much regret that meal. And 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 you know, in my case, I, I, as a person who's been thirteen years in your, a public representative in your office, I, I should have used better judgment. I should have concentrated more in terms of the regulations and I didn't and I regret that. Okay, and we we do know, of course, that uh, uh, Phil Hogan was dragged screaming and roaring for about 10 days before he eventually, um, you know, resigned his portfolios as the Trade Commissioner. Uh, there's a question mark as to the future of the judge, Seamus Wolf. Um, and we know of other people who have resigned uh, the whip and have the whip taken away from them and you stepped down as last Cahirlik of, of the Shannon. Was that, um, did you get a phone call from, say, for instance, Leo Varadkar or something like that? Did somebody call you when all this broke? No, and on, 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 on the Thursday evening, I, I had spoken to Leo Varadkar, but on Thursday night, I had made a decision that I was going to resign. I resigned. Well, what was the conversation? Can you talk to us about the conversation with, well, did he call you? Just, no, we had a conversation where I called him. Um, the conversation, Neil, was 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 very central to me, like what you're saying to me here this morning. In my case, I made a decision on Thursday night, uh, going to bed, and I woke up Friday morning. And and before I had spoken to Leo Riker, before he had spoken to the Tishuk and to Eamon Ryan, I had resigned uh, as as last Kahirik of the, of, of the Shannon. Um, and and I had done that voluntarily, recognizing the seriousness and the gravity. But what did Varadkar say to you? Did he say, what were you doing? What were you thinking? I mean, it was 15 to a room at that stage, wasn't it? And then it went, indoor gatherings were down to six people from more than three households. Like, you know, and, uh, like... Neil, I, I'm not in any way... There's 81 of them. Like, you see, that's what action. people can't understand. And, and, and Neil, uh, uh, you know, we can get into the, the old protocols, new protocols quite clearly. The new protocols were breached um, and, and, and I regret that. And, and what, what, I am profoundly sorry. I know, and, and, and you've said that a number of times and, 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 and that's the mark of you. I appreciate that. But did Varadkar encourage you um, to resign the seat? Resign the... No, there, was no, there had been no conversation of that on, on Thursday night. 
Um, I made the decision myself voluntarily on Friday morning early. Uh, I made a decision to resign um, as the last candidate of the Shamrock. Um, I did so myself, cognizant of, of my mistake. I'm, I'm a, you know, a firm believer in the, in, in the Latin motto, no please, oblige. When you're in leadership and responsible positions, you act uh, accordingly. I didn't live up to the expectations of people. Um, I know many people who have, you know, made huge sacrifices. Uh, and from listening to, you know, to your program this morning, the gentleman watching the match last night, you know, I'm conscious that people have made a collective sacrifice. I, I, there was a breach of trust by me. Uh, and I made the decision on, on Thursday night and uh, announced it on Friday morning. So, so it wasn't um, that clear for Because like, I, know, I know that Micheál Martin got on to Dara Caleri and there was murder over that. I think Caleri was told he either quit or be sacked kind of thing, you know? No, I wasn't. That conversation hadn't taken place. I made the decision myself, Neil. Uh, it, it was in recognition of my failing and my shortcoming. Uh, on this occasion, and and I very much regret Neil letting people down. What um, what impact? Like, what's the reaction of the public been? Have you been out in public, or or have you been hunkering down? Well, in, in my case, um, I self isolated, um, and I've had texts and, and phone calls from people and emails and letters. And um, some people are, are rightly, you know, very very angry, and I, I have read those emails and those letters, Neil, and, 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 and replied to many of the texts. I haven't replied to all of them yet. Um, th- this is a, a learning experience, Neil. Um, uh, you know, it, it is about ensuring that, you know, in my case this morning, that, that I come on your programme and, and I ask for forgiveness from the people for my mistake, for my wrongdoing. Um, it's a learning process for me in terms of, you know, to be careful, to concentrate more. Um, and, and, and I understand. And, and everyone is entitled and, and to forgiveness. Listen, for, listen, I, I, would defend, I would defend you to the end on forgiveness. But I suppose, you know, we, we would regard people in politics, certainly in the Dáil or the Shannon, who talk about this day in, day out, day in, day out. We follow the guidelines. You know, those guidelines changed to an indoor event to 15 people. There were 81. It's just people have difficulty trying to comprehend such a, a monumental um, cock up, you know. And, and Neil, it, it was a monumental error. And um, what it does show is, and what it does illustrate is that all of us, there's no demarcation. And I've never in my life sought to be different to anybody. I've never talked about, you know, or never acted as somebody of privilege or, or whatever. Because I don't. But I'm an ordinary person. Uh, I'm a very proud cock person. Uh, I, I'm asking for forgiveness this morning in your program. But what it does show, Neil, is that all of us must continue to not become complacent, to, to not let our guard down uh, regarding this pandemic. And, and unfortunately, uh, I made an error of judgment. I made a mistake. I, I'm profoundly sorry for that. Uh, and I wish I could have stopped the clock, Neil, and started back, you know, 15 days again, uh, because it's been, you know, it's, it's been a, a huge learning for me then. I, I'm not justifying in any shape or form my actions. Uh, okay. Now, could okay. I or would I? Um, and, and, you know, I haven't been hiding from people uh, in terms of your program. I've come on this morning. Uh, I'm deeply sorry for what happened. Okay. Um, and, and I'm asking the people of Cork, you know, to give me an opportunity to make amends. Okay. And what would those amends be? Politically, have you, da- have you damaged your career? I mean, I was only thinking about this last night and it was ahead of... I don't know whether Simon Coveney is still in the race um, for uh, Europe or whether it'll be Maureen McGuinness, I don't know. But if he were, it would have meant a by-election for a Fine Gael seat in South Central. Would, that, would a thing like this ruin your chances to take a, a seat at a by-election? Neil, to be honest, it's, a, it's the furthest thing from my mind. What I want to do now is to take time to reflect on what I've done, uh, to, to re and to restart my work as a member of the Oireachtas, to work hard for people, to rebuild that relationship, that trust that I had with people. Um, and, and I've always been a very active politician on the ground, uh, and, and I will continue to work to, to rebuild that trust with people. So that's where my focus is, Neil. I'm not in any way looking at a by-election or, or, or a European commissioner if Simon Coveney is at the new European but commissioner. But would, has it, it would you think it has affected you politically, though? That, you know... That your vote would have been diminished in South Central because Neil, of this. Neil, uh, that's not for me this morning. This morning for me is to come on your program to tell the people, to speak to people that I'm sorry. I, I recognise that my actions 
um, have fallen short of what is expected of me to say sorry uh, and to rebuild my relationship with people and, and that's what I have to do now. I know, and I appreciate and that, and but it, it, like I'm no, and I don't mean to badger you with with my line of questioning, and it, I don't mean to be that way. But I'm just trying to get just trying to get some just some clarity on on issues. Like you had golf clubs in the car, but you're not a member of the golfing society. Is that what you're saying to me? Yeah, I wasn't. Look, Neil. So you didn't have an? In, did you know that there was an Oireachtas Golf Society? I think everybody knew there was an Oireachtas Golf Society, Neil. Um, but if everybody knew, why didn't somebody, like whether it was Michal Martin or Leo Varadkar or a senior politician or Coveney say, don't go playing golf, guys, and don't have dinner afterwards. It was the middle of Storm Melon and it was limited to 15 people. Why weren't they talking about it in the doll in advance of the day? I, I can't answer that, Neil. All I can answer for is myself. I made an error of judgment. Um, but no, it's just I got the impression at the beginning that you were saying I happen to have the clubs in the boot. It wasn't that though, sure it wasn't. You were going up there because you must have had an invite. Well, the event was flagged to all members of the office. Um, I So yes, I, I went of my own volition. I was on holidays up the west and, and I made a decision to go play the golf um, and 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 then to attend the dinner, uh, and you know, I, I very much regret that, Neil. Who paid? Who paid for the the round of golf, and who paid for the dinner? Myself. Everybody paid their own way, was it? As far as I know, I paid for myself. I can only answer for myself. You paid for the round of golf, and then paid for dinner, and and yeah. there was there was alcohol obviously there, and that was all. You pay, everybody paid their own way. Yeah. It wasn't sponsored or subsidized by anybody. You were there. Not that I'm aware of, no. And, and also you were sitting there with, um, you know, people from the business community, bank lobbyists. There was a judge there with all of these people as well. There was, you know, people there who were um, uh, property developers. Does that not concern you? The politicians shouldn't be. It's like the Galway tent of old. I wasn't aware of the developers or of the other people. Other than I, I knew the judge was there, but I wasn't aware of the other people there. I, I, so I can't answer for that. Okay. Do you, do you think that resigning as last Cahirlik of the Shannon was enough? Um, that did it ever cross your mind you might resign as a senator? No, I took the decision needed to resign as, as the last Cahirlik, which is a position of, of 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 which is a very high position in the Shannon. It's a significant position. I've also lost the Fine Gael party whip. Both sanctions are significant. I've been a member of the office for 13 years. I've been 16 years a public rep. Um, I've worked very hard uh, in that time and I will continue to do so, as I said to you. But you never contemplated myself. just saying, I'm out of politics, that's it, I resign my seat. No, because I, I believe in public service, Neil. I, I, I took the decision to resign as the last Cahirlik. Um, and now... As I said to you, my, my task is to, Yeah, but that's kind of, uh, that's not much of a, that's not much of a sacrifice, really. It's a title as such, isn't it? Well, it's a position of, 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 of significance in the Oireachtas. Um, I took the decision to resign, Neil, um, and, and I made that decision, and, and that's where I'm at this morning. Des Cahill, a fellow party member, councillor on Side, told me back in the day that you should quit, you should have quit politics and resigned your seat. And he's in Fine Gael. Yeah, I made the decision, Neil, to resign on the Friday morning early. Um, as I said to you, I recognise that the hurt and the pain and the anger, and I've left people down. Uh, and now my task is to rebuild that relationship, to work hard, to show people that I am the politician has been elected for 16 years to the office in Cork City okay. Council. Okay, and uh, you are contrite in, in asking for apology and forgiveness on, on a number of occasions. I appreciate that. Did Would you know, we also heard some weeks back that you guys were claiming hefty expenses to go to the Shannon when the Shannon was shut. Would you have been paid expenses to travel in your car to that golf? Would you be, was that claimed as part of, uh, of your remit as a senator? No. Why did you guys claim expenses when the, when the Shannon was shut? Well, that, that, that situation Neil, is, is not as you have presented in terms of the Shannon. That's a fair news. question, though. You did claim, it, all of you yeah, claimed expenses for a period when there was no one at all, Aaron, and no one in Shannon, Aaron. No, what, what we do, Neil, is we must, uh, we must fulfill 
certain number of days in the year and, and if you don't meet those criteria that money is returned automatically and, No, and Ivana uh, Bacic entered zero for expenses for that period so you guys must have filled in something No, Neil, you get paid it automatically and uh, at the end of the calendar year if you haven't reached a certain number of days then you that money is returned automatically to the Oireachtas So you're saying that would be reimbursed, is it? If I don't make the number of days, that would be reimbursed, yes. Okay, so the expenses that were claimed for the period when the Shannon was closed will be given back? If if you don't make the number of days on the calendar year that you're allocated, then you re- that money is reimbursed automatically. That money is paid out automatically. And at the end of the year, there's a reconciliation with the number of days you must do. And if you haven't that done, then that money is allocated. That money is returned automatically. Okay, okay. All right, so it's um, apology forgiveness rebuilding is it and me look I, I really wish I wasn't there I, I am very sorry for that and no words of mine can adequately express the, the disappointment I have in myself at letting people down um, and in, in the hurt and the anger that has caused so many people and I really am sorry for that Okay, we we'll leave it at that for now. I appreciate you taking the call eventually. Much Thank obliged you. to you. Have a good day, Senator Jerry Buttermer. The Neil Prenderville Show. With Tesco. Save time and shop online. Simply log on to tesco.ie.